Shy Willow by Cat Min. There was once a rabbit named Willow who lived in an abandoned mailbox. Willow didn't like being outside very much. Bam. She preferred being inside in her home where it was cozy and quiet, just the way she liked it. One day, a blue envelope fluttered into her home. Someone must have thought that the mailbox still delivered letters. Dear Moon, it's my mom's birthday tomorrow, and I was hoping if you're not too busy, could you shine your biggest and brightest at midnight for her special day? It would make her very happy. Yours truly, Thea, the purple house on Air Street. What a thoughtful birthday gift, said Willow. The letter had to be delivered to the moon. But how? Willow could never do it. Could she? Thump, thump, thump. Willow's heart beat faster. As the sky dimmed, the moon slowly shimmered into view. It was so, so far away, and she couldn't scamper back if she was scared. It made her sad to think about Theo and his mom waiting and staring at a dark, empty sky. If someone had to deliver the letter to the moon by midnight, she knew it had to be her. Outside was big, tall, and scary. Willow's knees trembled as she stared at the moon in the sky. Maybe if she jumped high enough, she could reach the moon. She was a rabbit after all. But the moon was too far away. Willow wondered if she could climb her way up to the moon. She found the tallest mountain and began to climb it. Every time she slipped, her heart fell into her stomach. When she finally reached the top, the moon was still far away. It was getting darker. Willow wanted to run home, but she shook the thought away when she remembered the little boy in his letter. As Willow walked past a tall tree, she heard baby birds chirping in their nest above. This gave her an idea. Willow climbed up a tall tree and hid inside the nest. She waited until a large bird flew past. Willow jumped. Willow held on tightly. She could barely keep her eyes open. The bird swayed and a big gust of wind blew towards them throwing Willow off the bird's back. Willow fell down, down, down. Oof! Feeling lost and tired, Willow sat in a small grass area surrounded by trees. It was comfortable and reminded her of home. Out of all the things she did that night, Willow took the biggest step yet. Rip. Oh dear. Tear, tear. When Willow finally arrived, the moon was sleepy. Willow's heart beat faster than ever. Willow cleared her throat and gently tapped the moon's cheek. <clears throat> Excuse me, ma'am, said Willow. The moon stirred and slowly blinked her eyes open. She yawned and turned her gaze to Willow. Hello, I I'm Willow, and this is for you. She pulled out the letter from her backpack. A letter? For me? How lovely! 
said the moon, in a quivering voice. Willow read the letter to the moon. How brave of you to come all the way here to deliver this letter to me, said the moon. Midnight, is it? Well then, we don't have much time. Come along, Willow. This should be fun. They glided through the sky and stopped just above Theo's house. The moon set Willow down. Willow gasped. Theo and his mom saw the moon. The stars glittered in their eyes. The warmth of the moonlight spread through Willow's chest, and it remained there forever. To the moon.